Hey everybody, Lunch Pail back again. We're playing Diablo. We're in Hardcore Seasonal and Torment 2 because we did Torment 1 last time and we think I cleared it in like 8 minutes or so. I thought a lot about where this series is going and I think I'll be showing a lot until I get to the point where I'm happy with my final gear because it's probably been seven seasons since I last played a mage. And I don't quite remember. Okay, I just try to refresh my memory here. Seven seasons since I last played a mage and I don't quite remember what the end game's like as for gear and stuff. And I know they probably changed it throughout the seasons. seasons. So we are in Torment 2. I believe. Yep, just making sure. We do have blood shards, so we'll spend them. Anything else? That's level 61. I can't afford that. Wow. Hmm. That sucks. Oh, we don't have Kurenai's cube yet. I think you can load that up online. I'll go from that off camera. But we definitely need to get it. Actually kill me. So we are going to do course, Torment 2. my first time stepping through that door. And I imagine it won't be my last. Fortunately, like I was saying, last I run we did Torment bad. 1. I think that's part 8 of the I video series. Body. We you cleared it in 8 enough? minutes. We didn't get really any gear or anything since then. This is probably going to be like, you'll see me play. Well, well when you see a video, that's me. Playing. Like, I'm not going to be playing offline anymore. Everything's going to be live, I guess you could say. In a way. Speaking of which, if uh, since I'm actually here doing greater riff runs now. Oh, shoot. This ain't a greater riff run. It's a key run. Okay, got till the key run. Shoot. Okay, sorry about that. I'll try to make sure I have a, a greater riff key farmed next time I hit the record button. I can't afford that. We're just clearing out our inventory, doing the usual stuff. It's been a while, so I'll take a quick look at the enchants. Oh, and you're, if you're looking at this, I got this on a video I didn't bother releasing. It was a video where I just cashed in all my blood shards. And you look, see? Extra damage. Just quickly go through it now. Blizzard, we don't use Blizzard. This is what I'm talking about. When you're re-enchanting your gear, you always gotta keep up on it and just put in stuff that you use. We don't use explosive blasts, so we're gonna get something useful out of it. Intelligence. Might not seem like much, but it is when you're talking about nothing to something. Yeah, that's whatever. Sacrifice. We don't use that. We do use disintegrate. So I think we had some shards in our chest. We'll socket them with intelligence for the damage. Maybe, uh, purple. Two purple. Just to keep up with the vitality. Okay, we're trying this again. So we have a key. We are going for tier two this time. That is too expensive. Yeah, that was waste. We are going for tier two. Oh, we did. Oh my god, did I screw that up again? I did, didn't I? I wish. Yeah. Okay. Reset. Okay. Let's hop back in. Tier two. 
we don't have a gem we like, so we're not going to spend our money into a, an empowered, which basically gives us an extra roll on the final gem. Are you strong enough to? Survive? Okay, we cleared tier one in I think nine minutes. So let's see how this goes. I might go quiet for a few minutes just to try and absorb what kind of damage we're looking at and enemies. Shielding. Need more arcane power. Oh wow, I ran out. Oh, I didn't buff myself. Ugh. Make sure if you're running these runs, you buff yourself before you go in your greater rift. Or, once you go in your run. I think if you have buffs outside, it nullifies them. So that was a pretty big boomer move on myself. Trying to up the difficulty, right? Who needs buffs? Oh, 56? Yeah. Again, pandemonium, we're gonna try and take advantage of that and keep it going. More damage. Kill things quicker before they kill us. This is where movement speed helps though, because if we can get to enemies quicker, we can keep up our pandemonium buff. We lost it, didn't we? Oh, we still got it. 104. Perfect. This will work out well. Nice close quarters. Spawn all the enemies on me. Got a couple of elites, it looks like. Not anymore. We're keeping our pandemonium buff up. We ran into a dead end. Did we lose it? We did. That's gonna hurt us. Scratchy nose. Itchy scratchy nose. Looking at the time though guys, we're doing really well. So maybe... Yeah, looking at our gear. And we're in tier 2. Mainly yellow gear, as you can see. And I also didn't spend my Paragon points. Or no, that's one I just got. And it looks like we might be able to hop up to tier 3. We'll see how the rest of this goes. You always want to stick by your rule. If you're clearing it in like 8 minutes, you're probably safe to jump up. You might ask, well, are you sure? 8 minutes? Really? Yes, because if it was taking you longer than 8 minutes, that means enemies are hitting you harder, so you have to run away from them to prevent yourself from dying. And what I found just from years of playing this game is 8 minutes is around the safe, mar safe mark. We'll have to get some buffs to... Uh, it caught up here. We look like looks like we might be stuck at tier two. Looking at the timer. So I'm just trying to kill as much as I can. Get my buffs going again, and it might help us speed through. And this also could work in a negative for us too, because if we get too high of a pandemonium buff. And we just kill things so quickly. We might go up too high. Into a torment level. And not have the proper pandemonium buff to support it I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Power. Wow. Oh. What's 102? We got a second to hit somebody. Nope. We lost it. This is where movement speed helps. You move through the dungeon quicker, you see enemies quicker, you keep your buffs up longer. Gosh, even without pandemonium, we're still pretty killing things pretty quickly. Of course, it's a dead end. Again, no, we're probably killing things so quickly because we've enchanted our gear properly for our spec. 
We've gemmed our gear. Even if it was a yellow gear with gems, throw the gems in there. You can always just take them out if you find something better. Okay. I feel like, even though I said earlier the pandemonium would help us, it would really have to watch it, because if we get lucky with a good pandemonium run through a greater rip, it would really skew our results, because we're just killing stuff so fast, because our pandemonium buff is so high. But it looks like it's still resetting a lot. So... Nine minutes, yeah. It's iffy. Yeah, those guys aren't hitting me much. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna let him hit me and he died. Because those big guys that jump on you and stun you usually can one-shot you. Let's try. Okay, that's pretty safe. I'm not losing much health against those guys. So, after this, it will be a tier Torment 3 riff. I don't know why I keep saying tier. Maybe it's a wow thing. You dare attack me. I'm keeping an eye on my health pool and it's not going down. The big thing is you want to... I think there is the... Unwavering will, so I don't really want to move around too much. If I don't have to. Okay, I have to there. You never want to take a Molten. Yeah, honestly, you never want to take any damage. Yeah. I mean, if we had Nemesis Bracers, we'd be killing this instance here. With all the pylons we've got so far. So we're probably safe to jump up to tier 3, Torment 3 after this. And we're still at all that yellow gear, Torment 3. That's what happens when you gen and enchant your gear properly. This is going to be a game changer. Because we'll get so high up. Because we're playing the game properly. So high up in the Torment level because we're playing the game properly. Which will allow us to... Hold on a second. It's a boss, so I want to play it safe. Yeah, so we'll... Yeah, we're definitely going up. That's... Uh, we'll clear. I lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, because we want to push as high as we can go in our Torment Rifts. Because uh, it'll allow us to get more Paragon points quicker. And we level up quicker, we get higher up the ladder quicker. Rinse and repeat. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Hmm. I won't use it because I don't have this gear to support that spec right now. But I will keep it. Ooh, the Wailing Host. It's one of my favorite sets in the game. And it's actually a better ring than what I'm using. Yeah. So, oh, Legacy of Dreams. That's good to get this early. Why, well, you have no set? I, yep. That's us right now. Ooh, this is going to make me excited to try Torment 3. Immediately putting that in our gear should give us like a 18% damage increase. So let's just play around here. We will use the Wailing Host. It's not giving us a set bonus. I know it. Uh, it kind of conflicts. It's the same one as uh, that gem. Legacy of Dreams. But where we have no set item bonuses right now, we'll still get that buff. And we can 
play around with their gear after, right? We have a ton of critical hit damage, I think, but we don't have crit. Yeah, 176% is high for this stage of the game. Can we change that? We can change it to crit, but we only have one chance. Let's do it. That's fine, we'll still take Vitality. It'll help us in Torment 3. We will put that ring back in our inventory so we can maybe disenchant it later or extract the power later on. We will clear out our inventory. We will keep our helmet in case we use it for our final spec. We will get rid of this level 1 gear that's still taking up spot in my inventory. Anything else like that? We will cash in. Check our status on the ladder. We are not a necromancer. Wizard. 202. I think I went down. People must be playing the game. Yeah. But yeah, we'll pop up to, to Torment 3 Nuts Run and see how we do. Hopefully we'll get some better gear. Hello there. We have blood shards, so we'll try for Nemesis Bracers. That is too expensive. No. I think I will try and farm Cure and Ice Cube offline, just so I can have some chance for gear. And I'll show you in my next video. Anyways, if you like what you see, please give me a thumb up on the video, subscribe, click a video on the screen here. Leave a comment, share the video, anything you can do to help support the channel, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.